Hello, welcome to Direct Mail Monday, November 27th, 2017. Steve Cypress here on an uncharacteristically cloudy day here in Arizona. Maybe you can see up in the sky lots of clouds. The forecast is for some rain coming this week. I don't remember the last time it rained here, so that'll be welcome. It's always interesting, especially the violent storms that come, the... Uh, what do they call those? Monsoon? It's not monsoon season yet, but those were exciting. We have a great view here to watch them coming in over the mountains. Uh, here I am out in front of our garage. We have the last rem remnants of our Thanksgiving right out in front here. We have the uh, rental tables and chairs that will be picked up tomorrow, and they're ready to go. And we have moved on now to the Christmas season. So pretty soon out here there will be all kinds of lights and wreaths and... All kinds of stuff that my beautiful wife Michelle loves to uh, to decorate. Uh, even though it's a little strange to be decorating for Christmas in the middle of the desert when there's no snow for miles and, and whatever. But I digress. So uh, Rhino of the Day is this oversized black rhinoceros postcard that I see on the back. It says it's from the Bronx Zoo and it is uh, copyright 1995. So we have about a 22 or 20... 21 year old, 23, whatever year old postcard here that I got for the Bronx Zoo, the Wildlife Conservation Society, and that's fitting to have a postcard on Direct Mail Monday. So today I thought I would share because I've had a few people contact me uh, about starting to do some direct mail. Hey, they've been watching my videos and you know they're, they're ready to, to, to make the step. They have done a little research and they now understand that. Direct mail is the best bang for the buck in all the marketing. It is the most profitable, most effective, most cost-effective way to market. Uh, and yet, I have found uh, people have a lot of hesitation, and actually more than hesitation, they just don't get started. And I started delving into why and asked a bunch of people, and so I figured I'd share that here, the number one reason people don't get started with direct mail, even though they know it works. And it really comes down to fear, which is the number one reason people don't do anything. So it makes sense. In this case specifically, it's most often a fear. And I remember when I uh, was first started uh, using direct mail, I had the fear, the uncertainty, the fear of the unknown, or I don't know what to do. I don't know what first step, step to take. You know, I, people know how to send an email. Uh, they know how to uh, post a social media post. They even know how to put an ad because almost anywhere that a business owner is going to advertise the medium, the way itself, the publication, the billboard, the newspaper, the, the magazine, the website, whatever it is, they're going to tell you, oh, our staff will make up the ad for you. Certainly the Yellow Pages. I spent three and a half years as a consultant with the Yellow Page company. The worst thing, of course, a business owner could do is let the Yellow Pages make up the ad for them. That's why all the ads in the yellow pages look pretty much the same and therefore they all suck pretty much the same. And uh, and so that's the problem. It's easy to place an ad somewhere because the newspaper or the magazine or the yellow pages or whatever is going to say we'll make up the ad for you. And then they put your name and your logo really big in the ad appealing right to your uh, your ego. So you're likely to go, wow, that looks great. Plus, it looks like all the others, and you think all the others are working, which they're not. Uh, but you think they are because they're in there, and you see them all the time. So you just assume they're working, and since it looks like all the others, you think, yeah, that looks great. Looks like just like all the others until it's been running for any amount of time, and then you realize, holy crap, it looks like just all the others, and it doesn't work. All the others must not be working either, or at least it just doesn't work to do something that looks like every other, whatever. But it's another tip for another day. Today is the tip to getting started. So getting started placing an ad. I remember starting my first multi-million dollar business years ago. To place the ad was easy. I called up. What are the rates? They say this, and then they say, you know, send us over your some information or brochure. Nowadays, they can just go to the website, and they're like, we'll make up the ad for you. There you go, done. But direct mail, well, there's no... There's no direct mail salesperson that you can call. See, they're not, they're not calling you. You're, if you're a business owner, you're getting calls from the Yellow Pages and from the magazines and the newspapers and the websites, and we'll put you on the top ten of Google, and you're getting calls and bombarded from all these people, social media experts. You know, everyone that failed at everything is now a social media expert. 
And so they are contacting you. But when's the last time you got a call from someone saying, hi, I'm the direct mail company and I would like you to do direct mail. Doesn't make sense. The U.S. Post Office doesn't do it. You might get a postcard every once in a while. Hey, you should use EDDM, Everyday Direct Mail. But basically there is no salesperson selling direct mail, which is why people don't do it. There's no one helping them do it. They don't know where to start. And so here is my number one tip to overcome this fear of not knowing when to start, which is, by the way, well-founded. You don't know where to start when you haven't done it before. So my number one tip is to model success. Find something that works, and then you gotta tweak it, at the very least, if it's somehow in your industry. Uh, you, at least you gotta tweak it for your, you know, put your phone number and your address and your name of your business on it, of course. But likely you gotta tweak it a little bit more than that. It's likely you're gonna move it from one industry where it's working to your industry. Um, and you might need a little more help than that. Watch my videos probably get a couple of basic books on Amazon.com or go to YouTube or, or somewhere. But here's the number one tip is just get started. Just do something. Put something on paper, drop it in the mail. It, it really costs pennies. I mean, you can drop a thousand letters for less than a thousand bucks. And what ad could you run for less than a thousand bucks, depending on what you're selling, where you have the potential to make excuse me, not only make a lot of money, but that it's scalable, okay? So if your local newspaper, you place a $1,000 ad and it works, what can you do? You're going to place another $1,000 ad, or maybe you increase the size of the ad. But once you get to the full page, what are you going to do? You're in every newspaper, every magazine around, and there you go. But direct mail is scalable. So once you get direct mail to work, it can work to more and more and more people. You just get lists that are big enough of the people that you want to attract and you can continue to mail to them. The key is getting started and my suggestion to get started worked for me, works for my clients, works for just about everybody I know that's successful with direct mail. The number one tip to getting started is to model success. Don't start from a blank piece of paper. Don't start from scratch. You want to know what to do. Start from something that you know works. Tweak it to your business, get it out there in the mail, and then when it works, it's likely you'll make a ton of mistakes, and you'll leave a ton of money on the table, and you won't maximize it at all. But you'll get some results, then you're off and running, then you're able to take those results, the money you got from that mailing, and recycle it. We put it right back into doing another mailing and another and another, and then you, if you haven't already taken the shortcut of getting somebody to help you out, at that point, when you're really going to get serious, you ought to get somebody to help you out so you can really maximize the money you're making. I know when I first started getting success, I was real happy with it. And then later on, when I got some help doing it from experts, I found that like, oh, crap, I wish I could go back in time. All that money I left on the table. Uh, at the very least, though, I did get it out there and fell in love with it and made some money. And now I help lots of clients and I've helped thousands of business owners over the years make a lot of money and fall in love with direct mail and I hope you do too. Hey, thanks for the likes. For some reason when I'm on my iPhone here, maybe I got to set it up differently, but I can't see who's here. Uh, and it maybe uh, I need, uh, it needs to be comments for me to see them. Whoever's doing the likes, I can't see them, but I thank you for that. And I thank everybody else watching here uh, live and many more watch on the replay. Hundreds more people watch on the replay than watch live. Phil Brakefield's here. And it's Phil. Great to see you, Phil. Thanks for the likes. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving weekend. We are back to work for the final push of the year. And I will be back tomorrow with Topical Tuesday. It's the Rhino of the Day postcard and me saying over and out from sun-setting, cloudy, but beautiful Arizona. Have a fantastic rest of the Monday, and I'll see you again tomorrow.